Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro. Hope you're doing well. And I'm going to explain the purpose of if name equals main in Python. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. During your programming journey, you may have encountered this strange statement of if name equals main. Now, what the heck does that mean? So with Python files, also referred to as modules, by including this statement, it gives our modules some flexibility. One, a module that has the statement can be run as a standalone program, or two, this module can be imported and used by other modules if there's some sort of useful functions or other resources within this module to be imported. By including the statement of if name equals main, we're checking to see if a user is running this module as either a standalone program or they're importing it from another module. Behind the scenes, the Python interpreter will set special variables, one of which is double underscore name. It's a variable, and Python will assign the name variable a value of main if it's the initial module being run. And we can actually test that by printing double underscore name. So since this is the initial module being run, module one for my example, name is going to be assigned a value, a string of main. Now check this out, I have two modules. What if I were to import module two and check the name variable of module two? Let's try it. Import module two. In order to access a variable from another module, I need to type the name of the module, module two dot and I would like to check the special name variable of module two and print it. So when you import a module, this name variable is going to be assigned the name of the module, in this case, module two. This time, what if we change the roles around? I'm going to copy all of this text and paste it within module two. We're going to import from module one. We will print that special name variable of this module, module two and then print the name variable of module one, which is being imported. Now, when I run this program, I'm going to instead run from module two. Now, this time, that special name variable of module two is main, and the special name variable of module one is module one, the name of the module. So by including a statement such as if name equals main. We're checking to see if this module is being run directly or indirectly. So let's test it. Within this statement of if name equals main, let's print running this module directly. Else, that must mean that we're running this module indirectly. So let's print running other module indirectly. Okay, so I'm going to go to module one and run from here, running this module directly. Now let's do the same thing with module two, but we need to import module one. And let's run from module two. Running other module indirectly. For the time being, I'm just going to write pass within our if name equals main as a placeholder and get rid of our if statement. So let's say within module one, there's a useful function or resource we would like to access from module two. So let's say we have a function named hello, and all this will do is print the word hello. Let's just pretend that it's a useful function. Not really, but let's pretend. So in order to use this function, from module two, I need to import module one, then type module one dot, and then the name of the function. So I'm going to run from module two, and this will print hello. But what if I run this program from module one? So right now, module one cannot be run directly as a standalone program, so I cannot print the word hello. So what I could do is within if name equals main, I can call that hello function directly. So let's run from module one. Hello. One other thing that you might see too within the if statement if name equals main, 
there might be a call for a main function, and you can write the main body of your program within a main function. So everybody, in conclusion, the reason that people may include this statement, if name equals main, is that it allows our modules to have some flexibility. They can be run as a standalone program, or they can be imported and used by other modules. And this is because the Python interpreter sets that special variable of name with a value of main, if it's the initial module being run. If you would like a copy of my code and my notes, I will post all of this to the comment section down below. But yeah, that's the purpose of if name equals main in Python.